Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am not here with Geeky Sparkles in this video. She's sitting the next couple of videos out, but she will be back, I promise. We're gonna talk about Facebook. We're gonna talk about tech. We're gonna talk about layoffs. We're gonna talk about how Silicon Valley is kind of crumbling. And uh, I think it's actually course correcting. I think there were way too many employees in Silicon Valley uh, having way too many perks. Right now, I think there's been an overcorrection in, in some regards, but uh, Facebook is imploding. I mean, they're imploding in real time. We've done several videos over the last couple months, you know, uh, talking about, you can kind of see how it started. Like Facebook had a huge, a huge stock loss, right? It went from that to uh, they're doing a uh, hiring freeze to they're gonna fire the coasting employees, the employees that weren't performing, to they're shutting down gaming, to uh, the layoffs were much, much worse at Facebook than people could have predicted, to just a couple months ago, Facebook was laying off 11,000 workers, and now there are more people getting laid off. There are more people getting laid off. I'm sorry, it's meta now, it's not Facebook. Same thing, right? Uh, and it's all very meta. All of this is very meta. So we're gonna talk about this. Um, things are not good. Uh, we're going to talk about how they're using hot desks now at Google to uh, just everything is imploding. Everything is imploding. And I've got another video coming up talking about Elon Musk taking to task one of his employees, like personally taking to task one of his employees uh, on Twitter. And I think we're learning from Twitter, you know, for better or for worse, that a lot of these tech companies can get by with far, far fewer employees because a lot of them were basically just sucking up space, sucking up revenue. And, uh, you know, there's a whole lot of sucking going on. But uh, yeah, a lot of these companies have way, way, way too many people working there. They weren't doing any actual work. And uh, it's very different from when I worked in tech. I worked for a company now. We were mostly contracted by the government. We worked on Department of Defense software. Uh, that's kind of what we did mainly. And we also had a public facing version of the company that sold, you know, regulatory compliance software to corporations and stuff like that. But mostly we worked on Department of Defense stuff. I guess I can say that. I can say that now. It's been years. I'm not going to say what we worked on exactly, but yeah, that's what we did. And uh, it was a lean and mean crew, right? Uh, I worked there. Uh, we had, I was like the only like web developer, I think that they had there. We had like, I, I handled the websites and I handled all the communications and stuff like that. And we had like one or two programmers. And then we had like a room full of Russians. They handled like all the code and stuff. And, you know, it was a pretty lean and mean crew. And we still managed to bring in millions and millions of dollars in revenue uh, every year. I did not see that, unfortunately. But, um, you know, Facebook, though, is very bloated. Twitter is very bloated. Google is very bloated. And we're going to course correct. So we're going to talk about this. Uh, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. Over 297, almost 300,000 subs. Thank you so much for the support. Uh, go out to clownfishtv.com. There is more content on clownfishtv.com than what we talk about on YouTube because there's way too much to talk about. And some of it just doesn't make very good video fodder. Honestly, it's like, hey, there's a new this coming out or whatever. Great. That's not exactly a 10 minute video, right? <laughs> it's like, here's the announcement. Go read the article. Um, so check out clownfishtv.com. Got to give a hat tip to Mike Phelan, who's been following the the uh, implosion of Facebook and some of these tech companies. Uh, more meta layoffs, Google squashes, employee promotions. Let's look at this. Uh, Google and meta are not going to have a good year. Both companies suffered from either cost-cutting measures or layoffs over the past 12 months. A few weeks ago, Mark Zuckerberg was getting $14 million for personal security while terminating thousands of employees. So it has to sting to know that after all of this, even more people may find themselves labeled as redundant, according to CNBC. Uh, Zuckerberg thinks 2023 will be the company's year of efficiency. However, Bloomberg alleges that layoffs could start as soon as this week. We're going to talk about that. The sources were unnamed, but given the company's track record, there's no doubt that Meta could shed more overhead in order to achieve what Zuckerberg considers efficient. So let's go and talk about these uh, layoffs from Bloomberg. Meta plans thousands more layoffs as soon as this week. Second round of cuts in four months driven by efficiency push. And again, we covered it four months ago that they were going to do this. Um, social networking giant may finalize plans in the next week. I think Facebook is the next MySpace. 
I think it's going to be a ghost town pretty soon. Uh, Meta, the owner of Facebook and Instagram, is playing a fresh round of layoffs and will cut thousands of employees as soon as this week, according to people familiar with the matter. The world's largest social networking company is eliminating more jobs on top of a 13% reduction in November in a bid to become a more efficient organization. In its earlier round of cuts, Meta slashed 11,000 workers in what was its first ever major layoff. The company has been working to flatten its organization, giving buyout packages to managers and cutting whole teams it deems non-essential. Bloomberg News reported in February, a move that is still being finalized uh, could affect thousands of staffers. Shares gained 2.3% because people are like, good, get rid of the bloat. The eminent round of cuts is being driven by financial targets and is separate from the flattening, said the people who asked not to be identified discussing internal matters. Meta, which has seen a slowdown in advertising revenue uh, and has shifted focus to a virtual reality platform called Metaverse, which is dog shit, has been asking directors and vice presidents to make a list of employees that can be let go. So, yeah, let's talk about the slowdown in advertising revenue. I think Facebook faked its numbers. For years, the personal opinion. Now, we used to spend thousands and thousands of dollars on Facebook advertising. It is not nearly as effective as it used to be. And I am thinking that because of all the attention being given Facebook by the feds and all this other, that they're they're basically looking at what they're doing and they're like, yeah, you can't cheat this anymore. Or at least internally, they're like, yeah, we can't cheat this anymore. Or, Or they're advertising to a ghost town which I'm more inclined to think there are not uh, nearly as many people on Facebook as there used to be. It doesn't seem like there is Uh, pages that we had that we used to, you know, we could grow for different blogs we owned over the years. And we had one in particular that we grew from like zero to a hundred thousand followers in under a year. But this was back in like 2017. It's really hard to get people to follow pages on Facebook now. And I think a lot of people left for a number of reasons. I think the censorship was a problem. I think, um, you know, people just getting tired of social media, all the negativity around Facebook, you know, people just are leaving. It seems like for the most part, again, this is just my personal opinion that the people that are left on Facebook are basically just like moms and grandmas. Like it, it has become MySpace effectively, like everybody else has gone to other platforms, right? Um, that just my opinion, but it seems like it's not really worth advertising there anymore. So I think a lot of people are moving their money into video advertising or, you know, direct ad sales on podcasts or stuff like that. A meta spokesperson declined to comment on the plans on Monday. This phase of layoffs could be finalized in the next week. According to the people, those working on the plan are hoping to have it ready before chief executive officer, Mark Zuckerberg goes on parental leave for his third child. It must be nice to have parental leave. I didn't get parental leave, which may be eminent, one person said. This November, cuts were a surprise, but another round of firings has been widely anticipated by the Meta workforce. Zuckerberg has dubbed 2023 Meta's year of efficiency. And the company has been communicating that theme to employees, communicating that theme to employees during performance reviews, which were completed last week. Workers at the Menlo Park, California-based company described heightened anxiety and low morale among colleagues lately. I can't imagine why. Can't imagine why. Some employees expressed worry about whether they'd receive bonuses, which are set to be distributed this month if they lose their jobs beforehand. And companies will do that. They will. They absolutely will screw you if they can to save money. That actually happened with um, Geeky's dad. Uh, he worked for an airline. I don't know if I can go into too much detail, but they effectively screwed him out of his bonuses or his 401k. I forget what it was exactly, but they, they basically screwed a bunch of people out of their retirement plan to save money. And then they gave golden parachutes <laughs> to, to the executives. In February, MetaSet was launching a subscription service called Meta Verified that will include a handful of additional person. Wait a second. This is just like Twitter blue called Meta Verified that will include a handful of additional perks and features, including Facebook and Instagram account verification badges for those who pay. It's going to cost $11.99 a month, $14.99 purchased through the iOS app. So they're just copying Elon Musk at this point. God, they must be desperate. If they have to charge people to get verified on Facebook, they have to be really desperate for cash. And it sounds like they are. Uh, So Google's not doing very well either. According to uh, Mike, uh, over at Google, the company's CEO is trampling employee morale. Those employed by the tech company who are trying to grow their careers are in for a tough road ahead. 
Thanks to a statement in an email sent out by Sundar Pichai, Pichai, the process is manager-led and will be largely similar to last year, uh, though with our slower pace of hiring, we are planning for fewer promotions into L6 and above than when Google was growing quickly. Remember when the tech giant wanted to start desk sharing to save money while the Google CEO stuck his foot in his mouth a second time by saying workers are complaining about big swaths of empty desks and it feels like a ghost town. It's just not a nice experience. Uh, yeah, so they're defending it. They're defending it. Google CEO defends desk sharing policy, says some offices are like a ghost town. Uh, he defended the decision saying that it feels like a ghost town in offices and uh, some employees are only coming into the office two days a week. Well, take it up with like Disney and Warner and all these other companies that want people back in the office. I guess their they're feeling on that is they're paying for office space. They have to justify using it. Um, so this is to me, it's obvious to me, it's obvious they're trying to be efficient and save money, but at the same time also utilize resources. Uh, he said in a company wide meeting last week according to audio obtained by CNBC. There are people, by the way, who rut routinely complain that they come in and there are big swaths of empty desks and it's like a ghost town. It's just not a nice experience. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, uh, they're doing hot desks. That's not a good, that's not a good sign. They're also saying we should be good stewards of financial resources. This is Google. Google basically and this is after they got rid of uh, Susan at, at YouTube, right? I don't think she left on her own. I think they got rid of her personal opinion. They're talking about being good stewards of, of resources. Remember back in the day, Google was the company that sort of defined what Silicon Valley culture was like. Tech bro culture was like, you know, it's not just a job. It's a lifestyle. You come in and you get your five star freaking meal. You bring your dog to work. You get your spa day, you get all these perks. And my God, imagine that. It's not sustainable. The first bump you hit in the road, it's not sustainable. Again, back to the tech company I worked for that did work for the government. Um, we had a crisp one year, and this was, I think it was 2008. I think it was when the economy was collapsing, uh, 2008, 2009. We had our Christmas party moved from December to uh I think it was February or early March, and it was being called at like an employee celebration or something. The, the reality was it was cheaper to rent a hall in February or March than it was to rent one in December. They also took away our free coffee. They took away our free coffee. And that was like the only perk we got. We got free coffee. You know, we got a cake if we left on our own. If you got laid off, you did not get a cake. I found that out the hard way. I got laid off. And since I was dealing with government stuff, I was immediately locked out of the system. Like, I mean, within we're talking like seconds. Like, I think they locked me out of everything before my boss called and said, hey, you're we can't keep you on because, you know, money reasons. <laughs> and and uh, I didn't get my cake. So I'm very salty. I was there for a long time, too. I did a lot of stuff for that company. And I did not get my damn cake. It's like, you could have at least given me a freaking $20 cake. You know, thanks for everything. Nah, nah, it doesn't work that way. But these guys are complaining they're not getting their, their free meals, their massages, you know. And uh, yeah, this is this is it, guys. Like, Silicon Valley is imploding. It's, it's, it's all crashing down. It was never sustainable. A lot of it was... I believe bankrolled by venture capital, a combination of venture capital and screwing over advertisers. I think they were screwed. I think Facebook in particular was screwing over its advertisers. And uh, they were basically advertising to a phantom audience to get more money because uh, I don't think Facebook ads are worth it at all. In fact, we had one of their reps reach out to us and be like, hey, you want to promote your stuff? We tried it. I'm like, we are not getting the engagement that we got before and we're spending a lot more money and the first sign of trouble, anybody complains at all, they'll ban your account. You know, it's just, it's ridiculous. And I, I think it's, this is, this is the beginning of the end for Facebook, in my opinion. I think this is definitely the beginning of the end. I think they're, they're headed into MySpace territory and they will soon be completely irrelevant. The only thing they have that's worth it at this point is Instagram and that could be sold. You know, and the metaverse looks like dog shit. I'm just saying other people are going to do it and they're going to do it better. So I'm going to wrap this up. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk later.